From basic budget and feature pack commuters to all-terrain trailblazers and ultra-performance behemoths, I've ridden every type of electric scooter that you can imagine. And so after testing, owning, and spending countless hours reviewing over $109,000 worth of models, I can finally reveal the best 18 scooters. Now, to make my list of the best electric scooters easy to follow, I've categorized them into three groups for riders of different experience levels. First, we'll look at those that are best for entry-level riders, then intermediates, and finish with experts. As to be expected, the prices of the scooters will gradually increase as we move our way through the different experience levels. But to help you make an informed decision as to which is right for you, I've detailed what each is best for, whether that's commuting long range rides, explosive power, and so on. Together, you'll hopefully be able to find a scooter that matches your experience, budget and riding intentions. And for those of you who are interested to learn about how I tested and selected the scooters, you can see my full methodology at the end of this video. But for now, let's get down to business and kick things off with the award-winning entry-level scooters. Turboant M10 Lite best budget scooter. Comfortable to ride, durable, and surprisingly premium in performance, its popularity is well earned. Perfect for anyone on a budget, it offers the best return on investment of all sub $400 scooters. It not only tops the charts of both speed and range where it hits 16 miles per hour and keeps the wheels rolling for 15.5 miles or 10 miles if you ride fast, but its build and ride quality also surpass its price tag. Its brakes are exceptionally responsive to beating many pricier models with a 42% shorter stopping distance but possibly this scooter's greatest asset is its handling. Two crowning glories in its arsenal are its pair of 8.5 inch pneumatic tyres. Surprisingly air-filled tyres can be rare to find on budget models. Those on the M10 Lite however provide ample cushioning to soak up the irregularities of streets and sidewalks. Add to this a super slick folding mechanism, a USB port that can be used to charge your devices on the go and an IP54 water resistance rating and you have a trusty workhorse that's full of surprises. Turboant X7 Max, best scooter for casual riders. For the vast majority of riders, the ideal electric scooter is a combination of practicality and reliability with a topping of fun factor. The X7 Max is exemplary in all three areas. It's the perfect scooter for everyday use, whether you need it for your commute, daily errands, or a trip to the park at the weekend. Take, for instance, its detachable battery pack. If range is high on your list of priorities and you don't have tons of money to spend, then this could be the scooter for you. It has a maximum range of 32 miles and a realistic range of 18 miles, both of which are pretty spectacular for a sub $500 scooter. Here's the clincher though. With the purchase of a spare battery, you can extend your mileage indefinitely. But a one trick pony, the X7 Max is not. It can hit a top speed of 25 miles per hour, has juicy 10 inch tires that cushion the ride and boasts a slick folding mechanism for effortless portability. Plus with a 275 pound low bank capacity and a 41 inch deck to handlebar height is suitable for all types of riders no matter if you're short, tall, big or small. New KQI2 Pro, best for a premium design at a low price. Simple, elegant and affordable, this beauty brings an unprecedented level of build quality to the sub $600 category. From the smooth flowing lines of its chassis and the traction loving tires to the iconic halo headlight and sublime two click folding mechanism, everything about it screams quality. It doesn't drop the ball when it comes to performance either. Interestingly, its 48 volt 300 watt motor boasts a voltage that's 33% higher than the typical 
36 volt variants that you'll find on comparable models. This equates to increased torque, a peak power output of 600 watts, and a top speed of 17 miles per hour, which is pretty nippy for a budget scooter. You'll also reach 50 miles per hour in six seconds flat. Going through the gears is made all the smoother by the supremely ergonomic thumb throttle. I'd go as far as to say that it's the best designed throttle of all the budget scooters. Then there's its 365 watt hour battery that delivers a maximum range of 25 miles though you're more likely to see around 70 miles when pushing the speed dial to its max. Protected by New's patented battery management system, the unit lasts a lot longer than those found on budget models. In fact, New is so confident in its creation that the KQI2 Pro comes with a two year warranty. New KQI3 Pro, best overall value in the budget category. I've reviewed all of the best budget models from leading brands like Turbo Ant, High Boy, Any Hill and GoTrax and quite simply nothing comes close to the flawless design exhibited by the new KQI3 Pro. Like its little brother, the KQI2 Pro, this is an award winning triumph of a scooter that will delight everyday riders and design aficionados in equal measure. The key differences between the two are the KQI3 Pro's bigger battery, more powerful motor and sharper brakes. Instead of 25 miles, the battery delivers a maximum range of 31 miles. Instead of 17 miles per hour, the motor produces a top speed of 20 miles per hour. And instead of a 5.2 meter stopping distance, the dual discs bring you to a stop in a remarkable 2.2 meters. Factor in the sleek sweeping lines of its frame, grippy wing deck and high-end fit and finish and it resides in a completely different league from the rest of its similarly priced competitors. Horizon, best scooter for commuting. For a lot of us, commuting is an inescapable cornerstone of our daily routines, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Here's where the Horizon enters the conversation. Channeling the snappy power, compact design and refreshing simplicity that made the original Horizon one of the market's most popular scooters, the V2 glides into the limelight with a smattering of upgrades. Among these are an improved waterproof display, ergonomically superior thumb throttle and a carry handle that moonlights as a footrest. But the Horizon's main USP remains the same. It's the Swiss army knife of the scooter world. Despite its meager price, it does everything well. It's plucky yet nimble, low maintenance yet comfortable, and a dream to take out on city streets. Key to its success is its best in class handling. This is a result of its wide stretching handlebars, responsive suspension system, and well balanced frame. It's fizzing 23 miles per hour top speed, zippy acceleration rate and reliable range score it high across the spectrum of power delivery too. Add to this its cantilevered folding mechanism, collapsible handlebars and telescopic stem and you have a scooter that's primed for multi-module commuting. Mosquito, the best scooter for ultra portability. The Mosquito is a scooter that, like its notorious namesake, carries quite the bite for its size. In fact, when shining a spotlight on its power to weight ratio, this little nipper takes center stage. Despite weighing just 29 pounds, it can summon a peak power output of 700 watts and hit a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Frankly, no other scooter in its weight class comes close. It's like a flyweight boxing at super middleweight. An extremely easy to use folding mechanism, narrow collapsible handlebars, retractable telescopic stem and Velcro carry handle augment its lightweight charms to establish the Mosquito as the king of ultra portability. But there's way more to its armory with a deep traveling suspension system, puncture proof tires and up to 22 miles of range it promises a comfortable zero hassle ride making it the perfect companion for modern city life. Apollo Air 2023 best for all weather riding. Apollo's stellar reputation has been built on listening to customer feedback and improving on its existing models year after year. The Air 2023 is Exhibit A. The latest iteration brings a clutch of excellent upgrades to elevate what was an already superb scooter. It retains its smooth shock absorbing ride thanks to the front fork suspension and plush grippy 10 inch tyres but this time around the tyres are self healing. Similarly while the Air's 
anti-corrosive paint remains, the scooter now has an exceptionally rare IP66 water resistance rating, meaning even heavy showers are fair game. The charging port is covered by a protective cap to ensure that no water gets in and messes with the circuitry too, while the tire hogging fenders provide outstanding protection against splashback. And while the cockpit hardly needed updating, Apollo went ahead and introduced 8th generation paddles for the regen brake and throttle. The result is supreme ergonomics. Add stunning new turn signals, an improved folding mechanism, an integrated mobile app and reliably robust performance metrics into the mix and you have yet another humdinger from one of the industry's most celebrated brands. So that's all of the entry level electric scooters. Next, let's take a look at the best models for intermediates. Splash Titan, best dual motors on a budget. So what makes the Splash Titan such a special scooter? Well, aside from its responsive brakes, all-terrain riding credentials, and a plethora of customizable LEDs, it offers unbeatable power per dollar. Despite its relatively affordable price tag, the Titan's dual 52 volt 1000 watt motors can produce ferocious top speeds of between 32 and 37 miles per hour, whilst its gum slapping acceleration rates beat more expensive models like the Apollo Ghost. In short, no other scooter in its price class gets close. It continues to leave jaws on the floor across other areas of its performance. Its huge 20.8 amp hour battery puts out a maximum range of 44 miles, though if you put the pedal to the metal, you're more likely to see around 29 miles. Further augmenting its appeal are the well calibrated front and rear springs, rubber bushings and juicy air filled tyres. Add to the equation its 27 inch wide handlebars and rock solid stem and you have a model that brings control and stability in spades. I'd even go as far as to say that the Titan's ride quality is better than the vastly more expensive Wolf Warrior XG. E-Move Cruiser S, best for long range rides and heavy riders. With its huge battery, compactable yet spacious frame and affordable price tag, the E-Move Cruiser S is unique in a sea of competing scooters. Why? Well, let's start with its ridiculous range. Propelled by a 52 volt, 30 amp hour LG battery, it keeps going for up to 62 miles or 48 miles if you're pushing it to the edge of its 33 miles per hour top speed. The stamina on show here is unrivaled across all of the scooters in in its price class and it even beats models that are significantly more expensive. In what's a first for a single motor scooter, it now also features a sine wave controller. Combined with the new ergonomic thumb throttle, it achieves a supremely smooth acceleration curve, making it all the more enjoyable to ride for long distances. But this isn't just the best long range scooter, it's also the best for heavy riders. It has an industry leading load bearing capacity of 300 152 pounds, which allied with its large deck and height adjustable handlebars, ensures that riders of all shapes and sizes feel comfortable. This comfort is enhanced by two large springs that dovetail with rear shocks to deliver a smooth cushion riding experience. Jumbo 10 inch self healing tires help to absorb road imperfections too, whilst they also make the cruiser incredibly nimble. Apollo City Pro 2023 best dual motor commuter. Power, range, premium build quality, exquisite ride quality, tons of extra features, a low maintenance design and outstanding handling. The Apollo City Pro 2023 has it all. Granted, it's at the pricier end of the commuter scooter spectrum, but as the old saying goes, you get what you pay for and in the case of the City Pro that's close to perfection. It retains the same proprietary frame, triple suspension system, self-healing tires, regenerative braking system and mobile app that previously wowed me on the 2022 model but it now benefits from an 11% bigger battery, a redesigned folding mechanism and a wider more ergonomic tactile cockpit. You also get a suite of lights including a bright headlight, taillight and turn signals that 
have been embedded into the deck and at the end of each grip. Together they provide ample illumination should you find yourself working late in the office. And with an IP66 water resistance rating it can withstand unpredictable weather conditions. Add to this the dual 48 volt 500 watt motors, 2000 watts of peak power output and precise power delivery and you have a scooter that brings the wow factor in spades. With a top speed of 32 miles per hour and an acceleration rate that's as quick as a Formula One pit stop, it's fast enough to get your adrenaline pumping but also remains nimble and responsive. Mantis V2, best all around performance. Put simply, the Mantis V2 sets the standard for all performance scooters. You won't find another model that can delight both casual riders and seasoned pros alike. It's a chameleon that makes no compromises in achieving its broad appeal. It combines vicious 60 volt, 1000 watt dual motors with smooth sine wave controllers, a dual spring suspension system with plush 10 inch pneumatic tires, dual hydraulic brakes with a control inducing cockpit, and a super efficient 60 volt 18.2 amp hour battery with a tall stem, wide handlebars and spacious deck for a comfortable riding experience. Combined they create the perfect concoction of ferocious power, ergonomic design and versatile performance. This roll call of top tier features manifests into a scooter that accelerates to 15 miles per hour in a blistering 2.1 seconds, roars to a top speed of 40 miles per hour, has the braking power to stop on a dime and keeps the wheels rolling for a maximum of 33 miles. Whether you're searching for an all-terrain trailblazer, a road racing spectacle or a rapacious scaler of heights, the Mantis V2 is ready for whatever you throw its way. Apollo Phantom V3, best scooter for racing. If you want to feel like Max Verstappen as you accelerate, race and chicane your way through your city with captivating control, then the Apollo Phantom V3 will make you feel like you're driving an F1 car on two wheels. Featuring Apollo's new Mac 1 controller, a regen brake paddle, an integrated mobile app, terrifyingly fast Ludo mode and one of the most ergonomic cockpits that I've had the pleasure of testing, it builds on the knockout blueprint enshrined by previous iterations to deliver a spine tingling performance and exquisite handling. Wielding its dual 52 volt 1200 watt motors, it can race up to a top speed of 41 miles per hour. This is serious power, yet thanks to the expertly crafted geometry of its frame, including the ultra wide concaved handlebars, large deck and well balanced build, you always feel in control. Then there's the thickly textured 10 inch pneumatic tires that join forces with the quadruple springs to offer much needed shock absorption and oodles of traction. The result is an addictive riding experience when accelerating, braking and cornering. It's now time to enter the land of the giants, so let's take a look at the best electric scooters for expert riders. Mantis King GT, best scooter for off-roading. The Mantis range has received a lot of deserved fanfare. It's essentially a conveyor belt for producing light heavyweight champs, a line that perhaps more than any bridges the gap between high power and reasonable prices. The Mantis King GT is the crystallization of this blueprint. This regal juggernaut delivers best in class performance, a ferocious 43 miles per hour top speed, zero to 15 miles per hour in a rapid 1.9 seconds, a humongous maximum range of 56 miles and strong zoom hydraulic brakes that achieve one of the shortest stopping distances among all Kaboo scooters. But the Mantis King GT isn't just about power, it's also an off-road beast. Terrain agnostic tires dovetail with a fully adjustable suspension system to conquer all types of environments. Parks, fields, dirt paths, grassy knolls, forested trails and rocky tracks are all par for the course. With a quick turn of the front and rear dials, you can configure the rebound damping to either completely engulf bumps and vibrations from unpredictable terrain or stiffen them for fast paced rubber burning drag races. The result is an all terrain scooter that can seamlessly transition from one environment to the next. Nami Klima Max, 
best scooter for explosive power. Nami is the Ferrari of the electric scooter world. The likes of the Bernie 2 and the Viper are the stuff of dreams if you call yourself an enthusiast. They're just one hitch. They cost an absolute bomb, but fear not because the Klima Max has touched down and it's every bit as good as its predecessors whilst costing far less. Sporting a searing top speed of 42 miles per hour and the fastest acceleration rate that I've ever tested, this is a model that fuses breathtaking performance with a nimble profile to game-changing effect. Propelled by 40 amp sine wave controllers, it's whiplashing savagery from 0 to 25 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds is enough to leave your eyes profusely watering. Thankfully, it boasts a pair of two-piston low and hydraulic discs to control its explosive power. It also has impressive stamina thanks to its 60 volt, 30 amp hour LG battery, though it is worth noting that it's available with a smaller 25 amp hour unit. This reduces your maximum range from 60 to 50 miles, but it will save you $500 in the process. Adding to this already impressive platter of performance specs are the sumptuously smooth adjustable shock absorbers, 20 seven inch wide handlebars and the expertly crafted geometry of its IP55 water resistant frame. Combined, these not only allow you to funnel the power from its speed hungry motors with precision, but they also give you the ability to ride however you like, wherever you like. Emove Road Runner Pro, best seated scooter. You'd be forgiven for thinking that the eMove Roadrunner Pro was a motorbike. It's as close to one as an electric scooter can possibly get. In fact, the only reason it qualifies as a scooter is because it has pegs instead of pedals. If it had the latter, it would be more appropriate to compare it to e-bikes. Those pegs do play a key role in your ability to harness the Roadrunner's formidable power though. With dual 60 volt, 2000 watt motors and 45 amp sine wave controllers, it and is a peak power output of 6,000 watts and a rapid top speed of 50 miles per hour. It wastes no time in getting there either, hurtling from 0 to 50 miles per hour in a gum slapping 2.6 seconds and 0 to 25 miles per hour in just 4.3 seconds. Combined, these performance stats make it the fastest seated scooter by a country mile. However, it is worth pointing out that you need to be mindful of wheel speed and modulate your power accordingly so that you don't lose control while accelerating. Now with this being an e-move scooter you can also expect a Herculean maximum range. The high quality 60 volt 30 amp hour LG battery will keep going for up to 50 miles though if you plan to take advantage of the power on offer you'll see closer to 34 miles. Even better though is that the battery is detachable meaning you can feasibly double your range with the purchase of a spare. Factor in the thick memory foam seat, mighty hydraulic brakes, huge 14 inch tyres, shock absorbing suspension and insanely bright lights and you have a scooter that brings comfort, safety and thrills in abundance. Wolf King GT, best for extreme speed. Riding the Wolf King GT literally feels like you've been strapped to the back of a Formula One car. Huge, hungry and capable of a blistering 62 miles per hour top speed, it's a hell of a lot of fun to ride. Spearheading its serious power are the colossal 72 volt 2000 watt motors which in cahoots with a seismic pair of 50 amp sine wave controllers give it a monumental peak power output of 8400 watts and allow you to hit 40 miles per hour in just 5 0.7 seconds. Thankfully, its dual stem, ultra wide handlebars, and broad deck deliver stability and control in spades, while its anti locking braking system provides the stopping power needed to match its ferocity. If you're looking for sheer, undiluted speed that will leave your lips flapping wildly in G Force winds, then there's only one contender the Wolf King GT. Apollo Pro, best scooter for tech savvy riders. 
Inspired by the high-end elegance of the Apple MacBook and comprising of 150 custom-made components, Apollo has meticulously fine-tuned the Pro through a distillation process of six iterations to deliver an exquisite end product that fuses spectacular build quality, futuristic design, and next generation tech. It's a singular triumph that has no equal. With an award-winning Cybertruck-esque unibody frame, a futuristic 360-degree dynamic lighting rig, a built-in Bluetooth speaker, a regenerative braking system, a one-of-a-kind dot matrix display, a quad-lock phone mount that supports wireless charging, a mobile app that offers unprecedented capabilities, and a groundbreaking anti-theft 24-7 GPS tracking service, the Apollo Pro has been built to leave the jaws of tech enthusiasts firmly on the floor. Its expertly crafted geometry, meanwhile, ensures a finely tuned balance of stability, steering, and maneuverability, while it also promises competitive speed, acceleration, range, and braking performance. NAMI Bernie 2 Max, best ultra performance scooter. If the NAMI Bernie 2 Max was a computer game character, it would be the big boss. It's simply bigger, faster, smoother, and more awe-inspiring than any other electric scooter that I've tested. Wherever you look, there are groundbreaking features. One of these is its industry-leading suspension system. Pairing adjustable hydraulic coilover shocks with deep traveling swing arms, it achieves the best ride quality that I've ever tested. There's simply no contest. It glides over all types of terrain without so much as a vibration. It's like a hot knife slicing through butter. But of course, it isn't all about its supremely comfortable ride. It's the best ultra performance scooter because quite simply, the power it summons is outrageous. Its dual 72 volt, 1500 watt motors produce a monumental top speed of 60 miles per hour and with 50 amp sine wave controllers, a whiplashing acceleration rate. Yet, despite this savage power, you always feel firmly in control. This stands in sharp contrast to other scooters like those from Daltron, which can feel stiff and untamable at fast speeds. Elsewhere, the four piston Logan hydraulic brakes achieve a stopping distance that other ultra performance models can only dream of, while its formidable 40 amp hour LG battery delivers a ridiculous maximum range of 115 miles, though, as to be expected. If you push the scooter to its limits, you can expect a real-world range of 64 miles. There's also a host of P settings that allow you to customize practically every node of the scooter's performance, as well as create your own riding modes from scratch. Ultimately then, the NAMI Bernie 2 stands at the apex of electric scooter performance. Sure, it will cost you, but if you want to experience just how good it can feel to ride an electric scooter, there's only one model you should turn to. So there you have it, my list of the best electric scooters. For more information about each, head to this video's description where you'll find discount codes, links to buy, and my in-depth video reviews, or head over to electricscooterinsider.com to see the full written version. Now, to make sure that each had a fair shot at achieving a place on my list, I designed a series of standardized tests and assessments to leave no stone unturned. In total, each scooter was subject to 25 performance tests and 30 design assessments. Here I reported on their performance across the metrics of top speed, acceleration, range, hill climbing, braking, shock absorption, and ride quality, while I also assess their cockpit, frame, deck, tires, portability, suitability, lights, extra features, dimensions, and build quality. Together, the results from the tests and assessments allowed me to gather comparative data across all of the scooters. Ultimately, this laid the foundation for selecting the best models. If you want to see a more precise breakdown, including the test conditions, equipment used, and data collected, click on the test page link in the description. So that about sums this video up. Let me know what your favorite electric scooter is in the comments below. That's all from me. See you in the next one.